Okay, review take two. Quiz review, second one. Okay, the first ones, I'm going to write the problems real down. This is example one. X plus three greater than nine. Example two, negative four less than X plus eight. Example three, negative six X greater than 18. Example 4, x divided by negative 4 less than 6. Okay, let's solve these. Only one sign, so no table is needed. Okay, wall, one dot circle. That's a positive one, so the sign will stay the same. Now we need to get rid of the positive 3, so subtract 3. So that's 6, 1 dot x. Now divide by your 1. You have x in front of the symbol. Keep it lined up where it's at. 6 divided by 1 is 6. Circle, don't fill it. It eats x, so it goes that way. So x could be 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. Okay, over here, wall is going to be here, one dot circle. That's a positive one, so that sign, copy it down. Okay, first you got to get rid of your plus eight, so minus eight, minus eight. Keep the one dot x lined up where it's at, on that side, behind it. Negative four minus eight is negative twelve. Then divide by one. Now, x is behind the symbol, so it needs to be behind the symbol here. Negative 12 divided by 1 is negative 12. It's not like an equals where you can just do, write it however you want. Okay, Keep the x where it's lined up. So negative 12 eats x going this way again. So even though those are different, they're eating the variable. Okay, okay example 3 wall dot circle okay looks like a negative multiplying to me so it goes the other way and I go straight into the dividing don't have to add or subtract now X is in front of the symbol and over here we have 18 divided by negative 6 it's negative 3 circle eats a number when it eats a number it's got to go this way Okay, be careful on the next one. Now the reason we're circling the 1 dot x, the 1 dot x, and negative 6 dot x because those are multipliers. If I have a divider, which is what that means, you circle the divider. Okay, And if it's negative, the sign flips. If that 4 was positive, I would not be flipping it. So... I can go straight for the jugular. I just connect those, okay? So remember, you can always get rid of your negative 4 by simply multiplying the other side by it, do the, doing the opposite operation on the other side. So we got x before the symbol, 6 times negative 4 is negative 24. Circle, don't fill it, it eats x, so we're going this way. Really, you can bang these out one after the other as long as you know your rules. It's not... And also, if you need to, get a separate sheet of paper. It goes that way if it eats X. It goes this way if it eats the number. Okay, I'm going to jot down the next group of problems. 3X plus 5 less than or equal to 2X minus 8. 4x greater than 2, parentheses, x plus 7, negative 7. I'm going to need four boxes for this one since it has two inequalities. So that one calls for a table. These two do not. Okay. These two I keep on following the same thought process. Okay, you don't know what's going to happen to your sign because there's two x's. Let's take the smaller one, get it to zero. So take away 2x, take away 2x from 3x. Now I know what my x multiplier is. It's 1 plus 5 and then negative 8. Wall dot circle. OK, 
okay the ones positive then get your five out of there you need to do that step where you minus the five negative eight minus five is negative thirteen now I'm ready to divide now X is by itself but it's in front of the symbol please keep it there negative thirteen divided by one is negative thirteen Its number goes that way. Okay, you got a parentheses. Well, that's not going to work. You need to get rid of the parentheses. So 2, 2 times 1x times 7. So that's 2x and 14. So over here we now have 2x plus 14. Over here you got 4x. Okay. Again, I still don't know what happens to the sign because I have two different x's in the problem. Well, how about we get the smaller one to zero by subtracting it? So that's 2x and then 14. Now I see what my x really is. It's multiplied by a positive 2. So positive, the sign will stay the same. And I go straight into dividing. Now the x is alone in front of the symbol. 14 divided by 2 is 7. So we got 7 eats the x goes that way. Okay, now, now i got to switch my thought process. There's two symbols. That means we need the table. And then I'll do my number line after the table. Okay, so in the middle we have x minus 3. So I pair it with the negative 7. Then I pair it with the 2. So on this side, I write negative 7 less than or equal to x minus 3. On the other side, I write x minus 3 and set that less than or equal to 2. Okay, let's go ahead and solve this. So 1 dot x okay, plus negative 3. Okay, the multiplying number is positive, so the sign will stay the same. But we do have the step in between where I have to add 3. 1 dot x is over here, negative 7 plus 3 is negative 4. Now divide by 1, but make sure we're aligning the x where it's at, and negative 4. Okay, over here, x is multiplied by a positive, so that sign will stay the same. But we do have the step in between, so we have to plus 3, plus 3. Now we have 5, 1 dot x. Now divide by 1. 5 with x. So those are your two numbers, negative 4 and 5. Two symbols means there will be two numbers. Use your table to find them. Okay, that's eating x. That's eating the number. So they combine. So x, negative 4, 5. Okay. Eat the bigger number. Never eat the smallest number. That's how you write that. Okay. Don't write what I'm about to write here. I'll pick a number. I'll pick two. Well, two is bigger than negative four. It eats two. Two and five. Five is bigger. It eats five. Okay. So any number in that range, it's going to work out for. Okay. Next problem. Stupid thing just kicked me out of drive. Sorry. Google Drive kicked me out. I can't see the problems unless I'm on the document. Okay. All right. Last one before we get to the story problems. We have negative 3x plus well, negative 3x less than or equal to negative 15. No, nope, that's the wrong problem. My bad. This thing's a piece of crap. Okay. My bad. 5x less than or equal to negative 10 or 3x greater than 9. Alright, again, another one where I'm going to use a table. And then the number line comes after the table. See if I have just, because I have double inequalities. So on one side, 5x less than or equal to negative 10. 
3x greater than 9. Okay. Wall dot circle. That's a positive, so the sign stays the same, and I go right into dividing. I don't have that middle step. So x negative 2. Wall dot circle. The sign will stay the same, and I go right into dividing. So I have x in front of the symbol, and then 3. So we have negative 2 and 3. Okay, eats the number. If it's eating the number, it's going back this way. So I'm guessing here it eats the x, so it's going the other way. I fill in that one. I don't fill in that one. So I write or. Now with the or I want them labeled, just copy them down. Okay, story problems. My goal is to earn $80 selling popcorn and peanuts. Popcorn cost sells for $2 each. Peanuts sell for $2.50 each. I've sold 16 bags of peanuts, but I'm out of them. Write and solve an inequality that represents the boxes of popcorn I can sell and be able to meet my goal. What's the goal? 80 bucks. Now find the two money amounts that help us reach our goal. $2 and $2.50. What's the $2 for? Okay, That's for popcorn, so just write pop. You don't want to write P because $2.50 is for peanuts. Okay, One of these I know. Okay, 16 bags of peanuts, so I can put 16 there. 12 times 2, I'm going to write 2p for that. And then 250 times 16 is going to give me 40. So the expression 2p plus 40 is how I get to my goal. Now I solve it. Positive, don't flip the sign. You'll need a step in the middle where we subtract 40. Then the number line. So minus 40. That's 40. Then I divide by 2, we have P before the symbol, and then 20. So 20 is what we graph, eats a num letter, goes this way. Okay, So 20 or anything more than 20 reaches the goal. Okay, number 21, I have 600 feet of fence to put around a rectangular food plot. The length of the rectangle is 200 feet. Write and solve an inequality that represents possible widths of the food Okay, so you have, so now you can't go over it. It goes the other way. 200 feet. Now we're going to need to design a picture here. Length, length, width, width. Now there are two lengths and two widths. One of those can be replaced. Because, I mean, it says the length is 200 feet. Okay, so it's going to be 2 times 200. So it's 400. And then 2W. So 2W plus 400. Okay, wall, positive multiplier means the sign wouldn't change. There's a step in the middle where I minus 400. So then I minus 400, minus 400, 2 dot W, 200. Now I divide by 2. 200 divided by 2 is 100. So you have 100, circle, fill it, beats the number, goes that way. Okay, 100 or anything less. Okay, last one. My goal is to earn an average of 75% in English class for my test. So far, I've gotten 85, 63, and 74 on my test. Write and solve an inequality that represents the possible scores I can get on my next test and meet my goal. Goal. Now you're back to this. Your goal is 75. But they're talking about average. So you need to come up here and make a division line. You always have to divide to find the average. How many tests you got? You've taken three, but we're about to take another one, so that's four. Okay, so I got 85, 63, so I need to be adding four things up here. 
you got to add a fourth thing. No, it's not 75. That's the goal. We don't know what we're going to get on the fourth test, so that's x. Now go off this side and simplify that. So you got x, and then you can add 85, 63, and 74. Now I want to parenthesize that because it's all over 4. Gee, it'd be nice if that divided by 4 wasn't there. Well, I'm going to get rid of it and do the opposite of divide. If I bring it over here, it's got to be the opposite of division, which is times. Okay. So x plus 222. Now it's free. 75 times 4 is 300. Now it looks a lot easier. Okay, you just got to remember we'll be crossing that out and timesing what's on the other side by it. Okay, wall one dot circle. We're not flipping the sign. We have to add or subtract. So minus two hundred twenty-two. That's seventy-eight. One dot x. Now I divide by one. X seventy-eight. Circle fill it, ECX going this way. Okay. 